This is James Elder for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. We're at Wembley, uh, Wembley Arena today with me making his professional debut, uh, Anthony Yardy. Yardos, how, do you, yes. how you doing, mate? You're right, James. Yeah, man, it's good. good. Great experience, man. Good. I know Mitch Mitchell is a very tough customer. Um, he comes to win. Um, he said to me already, he goes, from my first job I threw you, he said he felt it. So, um, and his coach said to me as well, no one does that, really does that to his fighter, and he goes around the flats often. But um, I just loved the experience. I really, really loved the experience. Um, everything was good, I made the weight good. Um, that's something that was being questioned in the beginning, if I could make the weight, because I was doing cruiserweight um, in the amateurs. But uh, I loved it, man, I loved it. How did you find the small gloves in there? Obviously, this uh, would be the, like first, it, the first time. As soon as I put them on, like, as soon as I put on the gloves, I said, yeah. Like, I feel good. I felt like I was meant to be there. Because in the amateurs, they give you gloves that are very padded. And um, they, they, I don't like the way they sit. Like, I hurt my hands a lot in the amateurs. And the way they make you wrap your hands, etc. But I, I loved it. It was, it was great. Like, every, when I felt the gloves and I punched, I punched my hand, like, you know when you feel it. So, yeah, man, I loved it. I mean, the Jubilee line's not running today. So oh. a lot of people have had nightmares getting to the venue early. Listen, so listen. it must have been a bit of a nightmare for yourself. Not listen, everyone's seen you. My phone, fight. yeah, has been getting crazy. My phone, but... To everyone that watches this interview, I apologise. I'm not in. <laughs> I'm not in charge of the trains. I did tell everyone to try and get it for five thirty, even though I knew I was going to be on at six. So, people have apologised. I know. Sorry to people that wasted their money. It's people that bought two hundred pound tickets that wasn't here. I apologise. I apologise. <laughs> yeah, these yeah. things happen. It's all it happens. Yeah, it happens. But there'll be a lot more fights to come to. Speaking of which, when can we anticipate seeing you next in action? Has Frank Warren or Tunde J said, um, said what the case will be? My, my main focus for this fight was just to focus on one fight at a time. I'm not sure when my next one will be, but I just want it to be as soon as possible. Um, I'm not in no rush. I'm not um, saying I want a, a big shot, I want a bigger opponent or anything like that. Um, my opponent, he's known to be tough. He was a, per they changed my opponent as well. In the beginning it was um, Ian Jackson, and then last minute changes, they got um, Mitch Mitchell. So um, that got to, that, that buzzed me a little bit, but I was focused. In the changing room I was focused. I said, I don't care who they put in front of me. I just got to find a way to win, because this is, this is boxing. Right, well listen, congratulations on a great win. Thank it's you, great to get to know you a little bit more as well. Yes. We do appreciate giving us some time and uh, look forward to seeing you again in the Thank future. You. And watch, um, if you can, watch the Bunsen show. They should show my fight. Um, tune in always to iPhone London TV. Stamina for Soul. Wow.